Some big changes could be coming for air travelers in Canada. It seems a rise in booze service is leading to unruly passengers on board. For more on that, let's go to Tyler Orton from Business in Vancouver. Morning, Tyler. The union representing flight attendants says, hey, this needs to stop. Yeah, they're not happy with current policies being enacted by airlines. And I'll put it in perspective here. Airlines reported 330 passengers refused to put on masks in July and August. That's more than double the number that we saw in April and May. There are some things to think about, though. Part of it is that people are vaccinated, traveling a little bit more. So that's why some of those numbers are up. But the Flight Attendants Union is urging Transport Canada to enact some mandates that would reduce food and drink service or at least on law or short haul flights. And that would also help reduce the amount of time people go without putting masks on while they are eating and drinking. I flew just a few weeks back. Mm -hmm. All I can say is be nice to everybody aboard the flight. It'll be uh, appreciated by passengers and crews alike. No kidding. People, everyone is just doing their best, including people working in the airline industry. Although if you take away their food and booze, they might get a little bit angrier. So you never know what if that will have a reverse uh, effect. Okay, big news for fans of Krispy Kreme donuts. There's about to be more options in Canada. Tell us about this. Well, I didn't realize this, but there are only about a dozen Krispy Kreme outlets in the entire country. Yes. But now the American owner of the donut chain, it's taken a majority stake in the Canadian franchised operations. And they're being very clear. They see a lot more room for growth here in the Canadian market. So that means for you know the average person, more options to compete with Tim Hortons or just you know the regular corner uh, bakery. Now, I'll put this in perspective again, about a thousand Krispy Kreme outlets are in Australia and another thousand are in the UK. So we can think about kind of the comparable rate at which they'd want to bring in more outlets to Canada in the coming years. So that's a whole lot more donuts for people to uh, chomp down in uh, coming up soon here in Canada. Asking entirely for myself, do we know when this would happen, when we might see more Krispy Kreme locations? They haven't set an exact date okay. on this uh, part. I would guess, though, uh, earliest would begin in next summer, but that's still kind of more of an iffy proposition at this point. Just looking at those video pictures, I can tell you an entire province <laughs> is hungry for donuts right now. Tyler Orton, Business in Vancouver. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Paul.